everyone, my name is Ingrid and welcome to this new video. Today I thought I'd show you five products that unfortunately have been a little bit disappointing. Obviously, as you know, this is my personal opinion, so maybe these products don't work on me, but they are amazing on, on you. I'm going to start with skincare and it's actually a cleanser and I have mentioned before in some of my past videos that my face has had a few breakouts and I think it was due to the cleanser and you're going to be shocked. This is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Dermo Cleansers. La Roche-Posay is an amazing French pharmacy make and I do believe that they make amazing products. And this cleanser, first I'm going to say the positive things. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad cleanser. Um, I do think it's absolutely perfect for people with sensitive skin because it's very light it's not stinging whatsoever, it doesn't make your face feel tight and dry. I think in that case, it's very, very good. But, but, I don't think it's very good for removing all the makeup. I do think that I, I, mm, I'm not too sure that this is heavy duty enough. And uh, the fact is that when I started using it, I could feel that I wasn't removing all my makeup properly. And even though I always double cleanse, it just didn't seem to be doing the job as well as I wanted it to. And then I started getting a breakout, so I don't usually, so I do think it's because of this cleanser. It is for face and for eyes, and um, for example with the eyes, if you're wearing um, mascara, you will still get a lot of mascara remains, so I don't know. I just don't think it's heavy duty enough. So I was a little bit disappointed by this, but I will keep on using it and I will finish it. I just don't think I will buy it again. My next disappointing product is a makeup product and it's actually a mascara and it's the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And I'm sorry that I don't like this mascara really because I do like Maybelline mascaras and I really like the, the Falsies mascara, but this one, um, it's not actually you know, the way it leaves my lashes, I think it's okay, it's quite easy to use, but um, it just leaves marks all over my eyes, it really bleeds quite badly. And I do know that it's not a waterproof version, but it doesn't happen with all mascaras, and it does happen with this one, so unfortunately I can't really use it. Obviously, this is probably okay if your skin is a little drier than mine, but as I have oily skin, it just leaves loads of marks over here and down at the bottom, so I'm basically not using it anymore, which is a shame. Another thing I don't really like about it is that the bristles are really, really short on this, and you do need to get the, it quite close to the base of your lashes. So as this is a plastic wand, sometimes I do hurt myself a little bit with this wand. So this is unfortunately not my favorite Maybelline mascara, and I was slightly disappointed because I really, really used to love the Falsies mascara, so unfortunately I was quite disappointed by this, but I don't think I'll finish using this because it's just not practical. My next disappointing makeup product I already mentioned in my previous video in the Lip Product Addict Tag. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, head on over and have a look because it's actually about one of my favorite makeup products which are lipsticks and they're loads of cool questions. But anyway, onto the disappointing product and it's this one, it's the Rimmel Apocalypse. I can't believe that I don't like this because I've heard so many good things about this lip product and I really thought I would like it. When I do first apply it, I must say that I love the effect. It's got this really juicy vinyl lips. The colors is just so, so powerful. Uh, they are all very, very pigmented, but the wear of this is terrible on me. It tends to wear very unevenly, so I will, I will have the outside of it and then a line along my lips. So uh, I just can't use this basically because if I'm out and about, uh, I'm not actually paying attention to my lips. When I look at myself in the mirror, I will just have like the outside and the line along the middle, which is not a pretty look whatsoever. So unfortunately, I don't think I will be using this very much, and I'm quite disappointed, so I don't think I will be trying any other of the colours in the range. But anyway, other than that, uh, real pity because the colours are very, very pretty indeed. And now onto a disappointing hair product, and it's this, it's the Mousse by Schwarzkopf, and it's the Extra Volume Mousse. And uh, I actually bought this because they had two for one in Schwarzkopf, so I bought one that was for defined curls, another one for volume, and I don't really like either of them too much, but this one is just the worst of the two and is really disappointing. This is the stickiest mousse I have ever tried. I mean, 
I do think that mousses are a thing of the past a little bit and uh, I think they're better things for your hair nowadays but uh, for my beachy waves I do tend to get the best look when I use uh, a light mousse. This one is just unbelievably sticky and it really makes my hair tangly and it doesn't give me volume whatsoever so this is not nice, I don't like it. <laughs> and the last part that disappointed me is this. Yes, it's a sample. And this is a sample that was given to me in Sephora about two weeks ago of the Benefit Big Easy uh, foundation. It's like the Benefit's BB cream. And I am disappointed because of this. Look at this. What has happened to this? It has completely dried up. So yes, I am not blaming Benefit's um, foundation because I imagine if you keep this in its original packaging it should be okay but nevertheless this was so disappointing because I really wanted to try it and uh, this just dried up so so quickly I just can't believe it I think it's because of the formula which is sort of like um, liquid to powder I think it just um, it just dried up in there so so quickly so anyway <laughs> I can't fault the product because I haven't actually had the time to try it but nevertheless I thought I'd tell you because it, it was so disappointing. So those were my recent disappointing makeup and beauty products and thankfully there weren't that many and it's obviously thanks to forums and bloggers and YouTubers who uh, put out all that information and I always look up before I buy a product so thankfully I don't usually have too many disappointing products. Nevertheless I do think it's a great idea to tell you guys what I think, what are the good things, what are the bad things, because if I can save you some money, I will be immensely happy. So tell me down below what have been your disappointing products recently, and uh, please press thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you ever so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because it just makes me happy, and I like you won't miss my new videos. Thank you again, and see you next time. Bye.